What is the best kept financial secret? We all know what it is. It is often misunderstood, taken for granted, and misused. The answer is credit. Stop. Boring. Not another video about credit. Why are you torturing us? Because credit is the most crucial step towards achieving financial success. People overlook the fact that credit is the building foundation to unlocking your path to financial freedom. In today's society, credit is more important than ever. A good credit score can have such a beneficial impact on your life. Used correctly, credit can be an extremely useful tool in our lives. But what is credit and how did it become so important in our lives? Credit is the act of borrowing money in exchange for goods and services that you can use today with the promise of paying for them later. America's relationship with credit began before the 1900s, mostly from loans from shopkeepers enabling people to buy groceries, furniture, and farm equipment. Credit quickly became essential in acquiring the needs of most Americans. Between 1900 to 1960, credit was extended to car purchases, mortgages, and credit cards. Between 1960 and 1990, the three credit bureaus TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian were formed. The three agencies partnered with a technology company, Fair Isaac & Company, also known as FICO, to create a credit score and in 1989, the first FICO score for general use was introduced. By the year 2000, more than 70% of American households had at least one credit card. With improved technology, banks and merchants now have the tools to move information quickly and manage it more efficiently to extend credit more effectively. They check your credit history through a computerized record of information related to your bill paying habits, the number of credit accounts you have, how much you owe on each account, where you work, and how long you've worked there. Your standard of living can improve drastically due to access to credit. We have become a consumer society and the use of credit has made it much easier. Businesses, auto dealers, landlords, mortgage lenders, utility providers, and even employers use credit to predict your future financial responsibility. Anytime you need to borrow money, finance an essential item, or set up services, your history of paying bills, your credit, is called into question. Here's a pie chart of how your credit score is determined. 1. Payment history is your credit history. Make sure to make payments by the due date and never miss a payment because this accounts for 35% of your credit score. 2. Credit utilization is the amount of money borrowed that is currently owed. This accounts for 30% of your credit score. 3. Length of credit history is the time that an account is open and reported to the credit bureaus. This accounts for 15% of your credit score. 4. Types of credit are determined by the sources of credit used, such as a car loan, home loan, or credit card. This accounts for 10% of your credit score. 5. New credit is new accounts open and how often they are open. Opening too many sources of credit in a short period can be detrimental to your credit score. This accounts for 10% of your score. You may ask, why do I care? Well, because the benefits of good credit are enormous. 1. Lower interest rates on loans and credit cards. 2. Lower insurance rates. 3. Access to rental housing. And 4. Ability to gain employment. And this is just the beginning. Once you've learned how to optimize your credit, the banking system begins to open up to you and you can now begin to leverage debt by the way of high limit credit cards and high lines of credit to accelerate your financial goals. These are the foundational steps to wealth building. Once good credit is established with banks, your credit can be used to exponentially grow a business or investments. This is where the term good debt versus bad debt comes into play. We tend to think of debt as a negative connotation, something to be avoided. However, the key is to use it correctly so that you can monetarily benefit from it. Typically, bad debt is from consumer purchases. That's buying things that cost you money but give you no financial benefits, such as clothes, cars, boats, TVs, etc. The right investment is considered a good debt purchase. An investment should be something that you understand, maybe something that you can add value to, understanding the barriers to entry, and trusting the people involved in the investment. The primary goal of using your good credit should be to acquire debt to invest in assets such as projects, businesses, real estate, and funds that will increase your financial bank account by growing it more than the principal invested over time. You must be patient. Do your due diligence and research before ever investing in anything. Lastly, only invest in what you can afford to lose. Nothing is ever a 100% guarantee. 
Good credit is the fundamental key to personal and financial success. When monitored and used responsibly, it can greatly enhance all aspects of your life. Start by monitoring your financial habits and keep your personal and financial long-term goals in mind. If you're interested in learning how to build and grow credit, come to Mason Institute to learn from proven professionals on how to develop banking relationships and begin to grow your credit and eventually your business credit to lead to financial freedom.